Hey everyone, this is a crew dog. This video is being shot with a GE G100. That question is asked a lot of times from uh, people that I see my videos. Today, okay, what I'm going to show you is a new track phone that I've got. This is not really a new one, but for me it's new. And I want to share it with you. This is the Samsung, uh, yeah, Samsung track phone. This is a T404G, or just call it a T404. Okay, this is a remanufactured, as you can see, and I bought this one off of eBay. And this came from, uh, it's a company that uh, remanufactures uh, these kind of phones from track phone and different ones of all. This one right here was offered, and I bought it. And with shipping, and it came priority mail, this thing with tax cost me $5.20. Can you believe that? That's true. All right. What you get with this is, of course, you get the phone. That's the Samsung T404G. And Mr. Battery. Mr. Backing Plate. It also comes with a wall charger, owner's manual, and as with track phone, they give you that little red activation uh, sheet that has the serial number on it and also the track phone phone number to call if you're going to be activating it over the phone. You can activate them over the phone, you can go to the website. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay, we'll get started here. Okay, now this one uh, has the capability of playing MP3 music. So it has a micro SD external memory card. I don't have one here. I should have brought one in from my office, but I didn't. But anyway, you can uh, download music from uh, wherever you want to on your sources, and then with the USB cable in MP3 format, you can transfer it from your computer, wherever you got, onto that micro SD card under music. And then you can play that on this uh, track phone. The USB cable hooked up to the phone. You cannot access into the uh, mainframe. You cannot program the phone. You can't, you can't, you can't. Track phone won't let you do it. Uh, if you try and unlock the phone, there's, I guess you can do it. I've heard people trying to do it before, but uh, it's difficult to do because uh, they've got it pretty well locked in there. It's pretty well proprietary information. All right. Battery compartment. You can see those brass contacts right there. There's also a white, like a square. That's a water damage indicator. It'll turn different colors if it gets wet. So that way you know we got water damage. That micro SD card goes in right there. Little slot underneath there. That's where it goes in. And it goes in with the little brass contacts facing up. And you press it in and it locks. Battery. You got brass contacts there as well as another white water uh, damage indicator. You see the arrows on the battery? Those arrows face up and when you do that your contacts in your battery and in your phone well they pretty well line up and your battery just fits in and boop, slides down. Backing plate. When you get this one it's going to have a little bit of like a clear protective plastic on it and you have to peel that off. See that? And if you're not looking for it, you won't see it. It's okay. It'll bubble up after you have it for a while then you'll know it's on there. And just press that on there and slide it. You hear it click. Remember on cell phones and digital cameras, clicks are good. Speaking of digital cameras, this one comes with a 2.0 
digital camera. Not not quite VGA. It's a little bit better than VGA. It's 2.0. Takes a good picture. All right. The way you turn these phones on is the same way with all track phones. Almost all of them. The little and versus and and it says PWR. That means power. Just press that and hold it. And she powers up. Now this phone, okay, I have not set up anything else. This is right out of the box. So this is how it's going to come. And if nothing else, you can use it for an MP3 player to get that light off of there. There we go. Okay, you got your time on there. You got the date. And you see where it says home? Well, that means home. It means if, if you were roaming or something wrong with the SIM card, it would indicate it there too. You have zero service days left because I haven't bought airtime for it yet and I haven't activated this one yet. And... It'll also say you have how many minutes you have available. Well, I don't have any minutes at all with this one here. Okay. All right. Now, this one also has a, a QWERTY slide-out keyboard. So you've got the best of both worlds here. So you can do your text messaging with that slide-out. Or you've just got the regular telephone keypad. I'm going to go through this pretty quick here just to show you. But you see a menu button, hit that. I'm doing this through the lens of the camera, so it's not easy to do. There we go. Okay, the first one we're on the upper left is your prepaid. That's where you find the phone number if you have one, your service end date, your serial number, your SIM card number, and the code entry mode. Contacts. It's if you have any contacts, like uh, that's your, your phone book. Let's put it that way. Recent calls is just that. Recent ingoing, recent outgoing calls. Text messages. You can send, you can receive, and you can check and see what you got in all your messages. The browser. Now, the browser, okay, through track phone, you can only go to certain websites. You can only go to the websites that TrackPhone allows you to go to, basically. You can download ringtones. You can download music. Uh, you can do limited searching on their search engine. That's about it. But what it's basically there for is downloading games, uh, music, and stuff like that. Speaking of games, you have games and apps. What you got there is that's where your music player is. You can access your camera, uh, voice recorder, image editor. Image editor doesn't work very well. So, my folder, you've got uh, sounds, which is ringtones, images, your pictures, videos, music, other files, memory status. That's for your memory, for your memory card or for the internal. Tools, alarm, calendar, notes, calculator, tip calculator, converter, uh, timer, stopwatch, world time, sim, uh, I think it's application or, yeah, sim application, I think it is. I don't know what that one does. Okay. And let me go on here real quick to the converter. This one, okay, is if you have... Uh, you're converting uh, American dollars into whatever currency you want to. Length is just that. Miles goes into kilometers, centimeters, into inches. and Weight, kilograms versus pounds. Volume, and the volume, okay, is pounds, like for pounds into kilograms. Area is uh, square feet. Oops, wrong one. Okay, it's square feet. Uh, kilograms, however they measure that. Temperature, centigrade and Celsius. Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, let me go back one more here. And settings. This is where you set your phone up at. For your sound settings, for ringtones. The display setting. And you can go in here and I want to change something on this one here. So let's go into the uh, backlight. 
Okay, and duration right now is set for 30 seconds. You can go for a minute, three minutes, or ten minutes. Set it for ten minutes. Then you have for the dimming. Okay, this is for dimming. You can go five, 15, 30 seconds. I'll put it on for... I'll put it on for three minutes. Why not? Okay. And we'll go back one. Dialing display. That's how you can set up your... the font size, the color, and the background for your dialing when you do your dialing. Info display. Okay, that's where on the front where it shows you what your airtime remaining is and all that. You can change the way that that looks. You can put it into different colors. You can put it into uh, shadow, block, whatever you want to do. Main menu style. You can have it list blocked like I do or you can have it listed. And the listing is, is uh, it, it'll look different. See, this right here, when you go back to your main screen, and you go to your menu, you got that, instead of having the little icons. Okay, so you can do what you want to do with that. So I'm going to put mine back... on... Block that way for me. I like things simple, that's simple for me. So, that basically is the, the uh, Samsung T404G without actually dialing it up or without anything else. That basically is just you know showing the phone and uh. You can have those tones there, and I like to have. Uh, see if I have. I have. I think I got time to do this. I'm going to go into sounds again under settings, and we're going to go under keypad tone, and I'm going to change that. I want voice. Zero. Zero. Yeah, I know. I want to select it. There we go. Select. And save it. There we go. Now when I dial the phone. One, two, five, four, six. See? Pretty cool, huh? It doesn't take much to entertain me, but this this room is done. That's a toy for me. Anyway. That, my friends, is the Samsung T404G in a nutshell. As I mentioned, okay, I bought this one off of eBay. It is a track phone. I got it from, uh, it's a company. They're out of uh, Virginia. They uh, do a lot of remanufacturing on a lot of phones. Uh, they do a very, very good business, and uh, they, they're, they're, they send up priority mail. It's quick. And I don't know how they can do it, but this phone right here was $4.99. That includes the shipping. Shipping itself cost about, I don't know. I know when I ship out things, uh, it's, 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 it's close to like the $4. So, but they, they get a group discount. But still, for, with tax for $5.20 with shipping priority mail, it's a phone. And uh, it's good. And like I mentioned before, okay, I don't really need, a, uh, for me, I don't need to have a, a smartphone. Uh, it's, I'm just that type of person that, you know, I'm, I was raised back when, <laughs> when we were still writing with pictures on the walls of the cave with a chisel and a hammer, you know what I mean? So for me, as long as I can make the phone call, as long as I can text, that's all I need. Uh, if I was younger, I would get into a cell phone or into a uh, smartphone because of applications for business. And I would use the smartphone basically as a computer for everything that I do. But most people today, they buy smartphones because they want to play the games. Uh, 
Uh, they want to play whatever game it is. And they, they want to go on to uh, the social networking with the, the Facebook and the Instagrams and whatever else is out there. So why should I spend 700 bucks on a phone when I've got a computer here at home that cost me half of that and I can do the same things on the computer and I got a phone for five bucks that I can basically turn the Bluetooth on, put it in my car and I've got, you know, I can have, I've got hands-free uh, phone calling uh, on the West Coast in California. If you get caught... <laughs> Even holding a phone while you're in the car almost, but while you're driving, uh, they will definitely pull you over and you'll get a citation. And uh, you don't want to do that. It's all hands-free. And most of the new cars today, that's all standard equipment. Uh, Chrysler products, Ford products, uh, the imports and all those, they've got, uh, they've got like Uconnect from Chrysler. they got Sync, which is Microsoft in the Fords. Uh, and all that to where you can use your phone to hook up and you've got navigation system right there, turn-by-turn -turn navigation system. Uh, you've got Bluetooth. You've got weather. You can get into weather reports. Uh, shopping, directions, driving directions. Golly, there's so many things you can do. And for $5.20, you know, come on. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's me. It's probably a lot of you out there who use the smartphones for whatever else, but we're getting off track. Anyway, this is the T404G from Samsung. It's a good phone. It's cheap. And I do thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments like that, uh, just please uh, send me a message through uh, YouTube here. Just you know, send a message about, to me, question, and I always answer my questions, as you all know. So I thank you again. This is the Crew Dog. Oh!